Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a gel electrolyte for a supercapacitor. And also you can use this gel electrolyte for batteries by changing the salts that we are going to use in this uh, gel electrolyte. In today's video, I am going to use uh, sodium sulfate. Sodium sulfate salt is pretty good, pretty nice for supercapacitor. So you can use this gel electrolyte for your homemade supercapacitor and also I'm going to use a uh, polyvinyl alcohol to make a uh, gel electrolyte. Now I'm going to tell you each step, each details uh, to make this gel electrolyte. You can, uh, you, you can, and after watching this video, you can make your own gel electrolyte for supercapacitors or uh, for batteries. So let's start. First of all, I have a jar here and I'm going to uh, measuring here. Just, I am going to just put a uh, 200 milliliter of uh, water. The water should be very hot, about 90 or 92, 93 degrees of Celsius. If you use cold water, you are not going to get a uh, good result. So I'm going to use hot water. I'm just pour 200 milliliter. some more okay about 200 milliliter of hot water and I am going to put 20 grams of polyvinyl alcohol Is here the polyvinyl alcohol Just some more. Okay, just about 20 grams of polyvinyl alcohol, that's fine. Now we can't, you shouldn't uh, add direct the polyvinyl alcohol uh, to the uh, hot water. You should add slowly and stir it, slowly and stir it to get better result. Otherwise, uh, the polyvinyl alcohol uh, will not dissolve in hot water. So I'm going to get my jar here and just add slowly and stir it. Give a stir. You should use, by the way, you should use deionized water. And add some more. And again, give a stir. It's better to use a wood stick, otherwise you use metal. The metal can react with water or polyvinyl alcohol, so it's better to use uh, a wood stick. Now add some more. 
until completely I add the polyvinyl alcohol, I'm going to add and stir, add and stir. Okay, we added the whole polyvinyl alcohol into the water. It takes about uh, one or two hours to stir it, but I'm going to use a magnetic stirrer momentarily. And after uh, mix it for about one or two hours with magnetic stirrer, I'm going to wait overnight and it takes one or two days to completely dissolve the polyvinyl alcohol. But while I'm going to uh, give a stir with the magnetic stirrer, I'm going to add sodium sulfate into my um, solution. Okay, my friends, for, mag for magnetic stirrer, I'm going to use my uh, homemade magnetic stirrer here. I will just uh, put my jar on it and... Okay, my friends, after stirring the solution with uh, wood stick about half an hour, now I'm going to continue to stir the solution with a uh, magnetic stirrer. While it's uh, stirred by the magnetic stirrer, I'm going to slowly add the sodium sulfate to my uh, gel form and it became a uh, gel electrolyte. So I'm going to prepare um, about 20 or 25 uh, grams of sodium sulfate. I got sodium sulfate here. Okay, I think 24 grams is enough for that. Okay, my friend, I will just add slowly. And it's at some more. Due to the intense immerse of gel electrolyte, your magnetic stir sometimes can stop, so you need to restart it again. But the process should continue just like this. Add slowly the sodium sulfate to the gel form. Okay, my friends, you have to stir this solution for about two or three hours and wait over the night. And um, after one or two days, you are going to get a very nice form gel of electrolyte. After the uh, one or two days, I am going to show you the results, my friends. After a few days, you will get this. This is our gel electrolyte PVA with sodium sulfate. Now I will show you. This is our gel electrolyte.
as you see you can use these gel electrolyte for your supercapacitor and for your for some of your batteries my friends uh probably if you want to make this gel electrolyte you are going to have such a problem your sodium sulfate will not dissolve in uh, pva solution so i am i recommend you another practical way if you have such a problem first of all you should dissolve the sodium sulfate in water one molar solution make one molar solution and that solution in pva solution add, add to the pva solution very little and stir it very very well so i repeat again first of all dissolve the sodium sulfate into the water and add that solution into pva solution slowly and stir it very very well uh, if you have not a uh, good device and don't know the uh, proper uh, process for making the gel electrolyte the second way is more practical and more efficient more easy easier for you so uh, if I uh, were you, I would choose the second way. First of all, uh, dissolve the um, sodium sulfate into the water and add the PVA solution. Okay, we get the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed the video, my friends. If you enjoyed the video, please like my video and subscribe my channel. Take care of yourselves. See you in the next videos, my friends.